Dear friends, I welcome you back to our daily Sabbath school lesson study. Today we are looking at Wednesday's lesson, Judgment Hope. Can judgment be good news? It really depends on which side you are. Are you a perpetrator or a victim of justice? We live in a world filled with injustice, oppression, and all forms of evil. And Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 14 tells us, There is something else meaningless that occurs on earth. The righteous who get what the wicked deserve, and the wicked who get what the righteous deserve. This too, I say, is meaningless. Are you tired and discouraged of seeing the wicked prosper while the righteous suffer? Imagine a world where there is no hope of justice, no hope of judgment, and no hope of things getting better. It would be the gloomiest world to live in. At times, we may be feeling that we live in such kind of world, and we feel that God is a silent spectator to all our problems. But the good news is that Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 14 is not the end of the story. Solomon provides hope for a better outcome. His message is, hold a minute, God is going to intervene. Everything is, after all, not meaninglessness. In fact, everything and everyone matters. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 to 14 is good news for the righteous. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. We live in a world where we depend so much on our senses. Generally, people are afraid of human authorities whom they can see and who can punish them. We care much about the perception and opinion of human authorities. Now, although we believe that God knows our thoughts, our hearts, and our deeds and words, because we cannot see Him with our naked eyes, we are not too serious about what God thinks of us. Think about it seriously. If God can read my thoughts, know my deeds, and ultimately He is going to be the judge who will decide my eternal destiny, don't you think we should be more afraid of God rather than human authorities? The judgment is bad news for the perpetrators of evil. The Nuremberg trials were a series of 13 trials carried out by the Allied forces in Nuremberg, Germany from 1945 to 1949. Many high-ranking Nazi officers, doctors and engineers were put on trial for the murder of over 6 million European Jews and about 4 to 6 million non-Jewish people. And these people were tried by the International Tribunal and found guilty and declared as criminals against peace and humanity. Since the Nuremberg trials, many more Nazi party workers have been found guilty. Now these trials are good news for the Holocaust survivors and the children of the victims. Of course, many of them have forgiven their enemies. Imagine a day is coming when we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. That will be one of the most solemn events in world history. Which side will you be on on that day? For the righteous, the judgment will be good news. Finally, the wicked will get what they deserve. It is not that the righteous will enjoy the suffering of the wicked. How could they? They are filled with love even for their enemies. They will rejoice not because they enjoy watching the suffering of the wicked, but because finally their pain and suffering have come to an end and they have got their rewards from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
That is why the judgment will be good news for the righteous. Thank you so much for joining me today. I welcome you to join me tomorrow again for another episode. Until then, let's keep living the Advent hope. Maranatha.